Before you start painting, you want to consider certain things. You want to consider shapes, values, edges, and color. Or simply put, SVECs. It doesn't matter whether you're painting a still life, or landscape, or portrait, or figure. Everything is connected through those four basic concepts. I'm going to place the line of the eyes in now, and generally on an adult. Not children, but on an adult. It's about halfway down from the top of the cranium on the skull. Um, and not the frontal part, but the back part of the cranium, which is the, actually the highest point, to the bottom of the chin. Uh, the eyes generally lay about halfway um, between those two points there. And it, that can change slightly from... Measure distances. Make sure to measure an object's length, height, and or width against two other distances that you know are correct in your drawing. If one is off, you know you have a drawing issue that must be corrected for accurate modeling of forms. Finally, it's a good idea to draw. Without a proper value range, your object that you're painting will seem flat. It's important to have lights, half tones, and darks. It creates depth in your image. You've got values one through three, which represent your lights, values four through six, which represent your half tones, and values seven through nine, which represent your darks. If you take one basic value from each of those three value families, you can create a three-dimensional form. I'm going to take a little bit of the background color and just soften this edge or so slightly. Just go right through that shoulder. It just creates a nice soft edge, background vignette to come right around into the neck and then back up again because this is where the story is right in here. I don't want to lead your eye toward the corners. On the color wheel, opposite colors are complementary. In theory, when you mix complementary colors, you achieve a multitude of grays. For example, if we begin with red and we add its complement, green, we end up with a less intense, less saturated red, more neutral red. Or you can choose any random color on the color wheel and add its opposite or complement and you'll achieve a neutralized version of the originating color. Right here. And a little bit over here on this side. But a little bit of white into it, that'll make it kind of purplish. Right here. 